Hello art students! Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an elf hat for a Christmas or holiday concert that might be coming up. This is suitable for probably the age of a kindergartner or a first grader, okay? Um, so we have a headband style um, and just simply construction paper. Let's get right to it. You need a scissors, glue bottle, um, pencil, and some construction paper that's pre-cut to size. Um, let's get started, and of course, ruler. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna do my green paper here. I wanna turn it this way. Then what I wanna do is I wanna fold it in half. So I'm gonna take this half over here, I'm gonna just simply fold it in half this way. Try to be as exact as possible. I'm gonna crease it down off. Don't push too hard, just enough to create a fold so that we can see where the center of the paper is, okay? All right, now that we have um, folded the paper in half, we're going to uh, use our ruler. And right where the top of the center seam is, we're gonna go right there with the ruler, and then we're gonna match the bottom corner down here, okay? We're gonna create that triangle shape for the hat. So starting up here, we're gonna draw a line coming down to touch that corner there, okay? And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, after you have done that, you can go ahead and you can cut right on that line with your scissors. Then I'll cut on the other side here with the scissors. Good. So this is the shape we're looking for, a nice triangle shape. Take these two pieces um, and set those off to the side. We don't need those. Discard them. This is the shape we're looking for, okay? All right, now that we have our triangle shape, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our yellow band, okay? And we are going to hover it over our um, hat here. And you want it to be about that high. Once you've got it about that high, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, draw the line here as though we can see through the paper. So for example, I'm gonna draw a line right here. So starting where the green starts, going to draw a line that meets right there, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing on the yellow band over here. I'm going to draw a line to connect to the green part right there, okay? Um, the next part, we need to remove this piece and we need to move this piece, okay? So use your scissors and cut those parts off. Try to cut nice on the line right there. Then we're going to cut right here like that. Okay. Great. Now what we're going to do is we are going to glue this on there. So you want to apply a lot of glue because we want these to be durable. If you can understand what it's like to be in kindergarten or a first grader again, you probably know how much you move around. <laughs> so if we want these to be durable, so put a decent amount of glue on it. Okay. Now we're going to glue this on and we're going to try to match it right to the spot where it needs to go. Okay. Push down on it gently. Not too much force, just the right amount of pressure. Enough where it'll stick, okay? Next part, we're gonna take this here. This is gonna be our red feather. Um, it's the decoration part of our hat. And I want you to draw a nice elongated almond shape. Something that resembles a feather, kinda like that. 
Then we're going to cut out that feather. Okay, that's the shape that we're going for. All right, now for the feather, what we need to do is we need to flip our hat over backwards like this. Now, when we glue the feather on, we want it to appear that it's sticking out of the belt, kind of like so. Um, so you don't want it hanging over the belt like this, okay? You want it to see where the, um, the cloth part is. You kind of want it poking out like right at that angle, okay? So after you capture that angle, I'm gonna apply some glue underneath the feather on the back side of the hat so it stays put there. Now, make sure you, again, that you use a good amount of glue so that we can expect these to stay. Okay, there we go. All right. Apply good pressure, good pressure. There we go, that feather is gonna stay put, okay? Now what we got to do is we got to do the, the band, okay? So when we do the band, for the headband, we want to glue this down so that it covers nicely and it matches nicely to the bottom because we don't want the brown part being on, being shown basically. We want the brown part to be as hidden as possible. So we want that to match the line right there really nicely, okay? So what we're going to do is we're gonna apply some glue on the back side of the hat and this is the part where you really wanna make sure you have a lot of glue because if you don't, your poor little elf hat's gonna fall right off of your headband and you don't want that. So I'm doing a nice zigzaggy line, kinda of going through like this, a good amount of glue. Okay, I wanna make sure that this is gonna stay put. <laughs> now. I have about oh, four inches or so off to the side here, so on the camera I suppose that might look something about like that much, okay? Okay, so I probably can fit my adult hand um, on the side here, okay? That's about where we're going to glue it down, okay? I'm going to place this down, and again I'm going to match. the very bottom of the brown paper, okay? There we go. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna push down right here. There we go. And then there's just one more part to this elf hat. It's quite simple. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an extra band so we can custom size this elf hat to fit any student head. And we're going to just simply um, use a stapler here. Now, you don't want the pokey part of the staple um, <laughs> irritating the student's head. You want the soft part to be on the, that side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go this way. You want the long part um, facing the forehead, if that makes sense. So you want that long part on the skin contact. You do not want this pokey part on the skin contact. Okay, so make sure that you do that correctly. And you want two staples. Okay. There we go. You're going to let this dry. And it should be nice and solid with this uh, strong Elmer's glue. And you'll have a nice elf um, inspired concert. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Thank you so much for following along. Um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.